says, Lord, my God, who could bring us salvation but you? Who could bring us back home but you? Who could bring us happiness but you? Then Maranatha. And he says, daughter, from Isaiah 38, verse 18, he says, daughter, the dead cannot praise me. This is why I shall descend with full force upon you and raise you all to remind you of my greatness, my splendor and my sovereignty. Come right, my daughter of the king. Peace be with you, my sons and daughters. I have counted my sheep, and my heart is crushed with sorrow. Only a remnant are left today who have not been raided by apostasy. Only a handful have not lost their faith. Only a few are left who survived the perils of rationalism. And I from above have strained my eyes, waiting for you to offer me your heart and your abandonment. But this generation's heart is gross with foolishness. Yet even if you have not observed my law of love, but have turned away your hearts and made your own law and statutes, I shall not stand by and see. I shall not stand by and see you stray more and more from my commandments. I mean to rescue you, generation. I mean to school you back to your senses. I mean to school you back to your senses and guide you with great love back into the path of righteousness. I shall teach you to invoke my name. I shall teach you to walk in my presence. I shall teach you to live a life of prayer. My throne, descending uh, my child. I shall teach you to love me with all your soul. I shall unbind your death's cords that bind your soul to all that my soul abhors. If you give me your will, your will, my child. Look, look around you. My Holy Spirit comes to meet you and revive you all, dressed as a beggar with tears of blood streaming down my cheeks. I descend from my throne, leaning all the way to you to save your soul from disaster and from famine. For the sake, for the sake of my holy name, I shall demonstrate myself through these very things you do not believe anymore. I shall demonstrate my Holy Spirit through marvels, through miracles. I shall demonstrate my power through weakness and wretchedness as never before. I shall come with thousands of myriads of angels to pour on you, generation, my celestial manna. This hidden manna, Revelations 2.17, and fill, and fill your mouth with my food so that your mouth proclaims my glory. Apostasy challenged my mercy and rationalism. This plague of your era challenged my power. I am sending before me to educate you the woman clothed with the sun, Revelations 12, 1, the second Eva to school you and lead you step by step into heaven. I am sending you my Holy Spirit in this night be your companion and consoler and remind you of my word. I am sending you a mission of angels of hope to expel your fears. Come and listen, all you who are starved. Happy the man I invite to the wedding of my Holy Spirit. He shall be filled with my celestial food and through their faults overpower them. My Holy Spirit shall blot them out in his rest in them. Understand, my beloved, that my visit on earth is not to condemn you, but to save you. Who is going to see me? Who will take notice? Who recognize the throne descending from the heavens among you? Do not resist my Holy Spirit of grace. I am with you always. Pray fervently for the conversion of your era. Open your hearts and speak to me. Speak to me. I will, will you offer me your will? O oh, house of mine, come, come to me and walk in my light. Yet when I come in my great return, will I find any faith on earth? Luke 18, verse 8. Today I am speaking in plain words, my little children. In a short time, love will return as love. I will come back to you, and I tell you truly, if you recognize my Holy Spirit and have seen him, is because you belong to me, since the world can neither acknowledge him, see him, nor receive him. Oh, my little ones, what will I not do for you? I am longing to see you strengthened with the gifts I am pouring on you. 
The Savior had paused there, then majestically, straightening then not moving, said the following words. He said, Receive your strength in prayer. A constant prayer to me. Receive your strength in prayer. A constant prayer to me. I bless each one of you. And you, you, that is, the Savior speaks specifically to one person in the group, who come because your cross is crushing you. Lean on me, beloved. Lean on me, beloved, and offer me your distress and your hardship. I love you. I shall come to your help. Glorify me by praising my name. Receive the breath of my Holy Spirit on your foreheads and be one under my holy name. Piara Congola Betia Tiora Pepeti Cocody Shondola Mapapada Congola Betiara Pimba Babara Tococo Cocody Tiara Papa de Tiara Papa Bari Hepara Cocody Tiara Papa Bari Tiara Papa Bari Indola Baba de Cocody Tiara Papa de Cocody Tiara Papa Bari Indola Baba de Cocody Tiara Cocody Tiara Papa Bara Cocody Indola Baba de Cocody Tiara Papa Papa Bari Tiara Papa Bari Praise the Lord, for He is good. Glorify Him, for He is near. The Savior brings peace and love to all. Be good, be good, says Dan. And then my Lord he says I am lean on me entirely I am your peace come do not succumb into temptation lean learn from me Remembering my ways, pray, 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 let every word uttered from your lips be a prayer which reaches heaven rising up like incense. Be in constant bonds with me. Lift your mind to me. Think of me only. All that you have and which is good comes from me. I revived you, write it. The Savior sitting near me posed his hand on my shoulder. And then he says, I have formed you. I will encircle you all with my arms. Flowers speak to me. You have lessened your conversations with me. I am giving you everything. I, I share my works with you. So do the same to me. Your holy companion, your spouse. I want to share with you your daily activities. My daughter of the king. When your lips open to utter any word, let them utter only holy words. Let them utter prayers. Be in constant prayer. Be in constant prayer. Prayer. She says, How, Lord? How is this possible, Lord? He says, I will tell you. Let your attitude, your thoughts, your wishes, your meditations, your reflections, your services, your needs, everything, let them be a prayer. My image, my image. Every scope given to you should enliven within you a holiness, this holiness which it was given to you by me. But souls have forgotten how to use it. I have given each soul this gift. I will enliven this grace which now lies dormant within you all. I love holiness. She says, would you, Lord, with your grace, make me then holy? He says, my beloved, I will for this is my desire for every soul. But I, the Lord, have chosen for you this road. You will adore me, your God, in silence. She explains, God has given me the grace of meditation. With this, I need to be alone. I and you secluded living for me, enjoy my creation, love me, see me in my creation, love my creation, daughter of the king. The Savior looked at me, stopping for a while, she writes, he joined his hands together, his elbows on his legs, his hands hanging, his holy face is looking at me, his hair is long and loose, very light chestnut blonde with red reflection. He says, daughter of the king, 
Yes, Lord, give me your heart, and I will place it in the depths of my sacred heart. Enter into my sacred heart. Enter into my sacred heart. Enter here. The Savior pointed to his heart with his index. Oh, come, I have been calling you ever since you were born. I have reserved a place for you, daughter of the king. Daughter of the king. She says, Lord, I have given you my heart already. My life all is yours. He says, ah, daughter of the king, try and perceive my will. Listen to my will heart beats every beat is a call for you why do you resist me lord he says i am lord may i tell you something in your ear i'm listening here i said something to the savior enter my sacred heart and rest rest in there ask something else here to the savior he says yes let it be so i love you i love you lord then uh later on that same day i always feel so sad that certain people reject saint mary as mother of God. I felt terribly sad and wept over her. I wanted to console her. Satan attacked. Satan attacked. Daughter of the king, reserve your tears. I hate all those martyrs. Put Satan in this. Go, Satan, go. Get behind me, Satan. Lord Jesus, he says, I am. I'll show you to you now and then how the evil devil despises you in my holy ways. Those ways I am teaching you. If you shed tears of love for my mother it infuriates the devil and then he says blessed are those who live in my in my house and are able to recognize your holy your holy mother as mother of god almighty and queen of heaven Blessed are those who live in my house and are able to recognize your holy mother as mother of God and queen of heaven. Come, beloved, I will bless you. Eternal salvation stood up, posed his hand on my head, blessing me. I bless you, my daughter of the king. And she says, I bless you, Savior. I touched his holy head. I thank you for teaching me. Come, remember with his finger like a teacher he said remember let us share we us yes lord we us Kungokari, Lord and Redeemer, hear my prayer. Listen, Lord, all merciful. My prayers indeed are atrophic. I'm poor and needy, but I'm here. And from this desert, I call for your help. You know our needs. And you have surely heard the supplications of the dying with just one blessing coming from you, Lord, and they shall be healed. He says, I have brought you out of Egypt. You have only to open your mouth for me to fill it, and I shall do the same to all of your brethren. Now, our Holy Mother's message for Lens, Zion. Peace be with you, children. I, your Holy Mother, am preparing you to meet the Lord. I am educating you in your spiritual growth. I am covering you with graces to help you and encourage you. Realize well, that these are special days you're living in your times. These are the days preceding the Lord's coming. 